Right, time for some more Bloodborne. Um, first, what we're going to do is uh, off camera. I did a bit. <laughs> I did a bit of trial and error to open up the uh, the old hunter workshop, uh, which is like the real life location of the hunter's dream, because it requires a lot of kind of precise platforming in a game that's not about platforming and jumping at all. Um, so it took me a few tries. Lost, I don't know, <laughs> about th lost a, a couple of thousand echoes trying to do it. But we want to come here and get the third umbilical cord because we're going to use that to fight the the true final boss of the game. And there's also some other good loot around here, uh, which we, ca <laughs> we can't use the old hunter bone because we just don't have. But I uh, don't have enough arcane, but we've got the doll clothes, which are really good because we can sell those for a ton of money. Oh, what did you get 99 for? I mean, I'm fine with it. Um, hmm, weird. Enemy must have died off screen. Alright, so we're going to... That's all we need to do. We don't need to do anything else, so we're just going to... Pop back to the old hunter's dream. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm recording, I should put a sign up. <laughs> Bye. Wife came in. She was meant to be out and she forgot something, so she had to come back. I must have drifted. What is it you did? Uh, we're going to give her the small hair ornament. I, I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel a yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? Tell me, Hunter, could this be joy? Uh, so the tear stone is just another gem that we can slot into a weapon. I think it's just like passive health regeneration, but it's like so slow it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, the doll clothes sell for so much, so we're just going to do that. And also these Yarnum clothes get a bunch of echoes, and we're just going to like. That's got. Be, I mean, that's got to be a few level up, right? It's three level up. That's pretty good. Um, what we're gonna do? I'm actually gonna start putting a couple of points into endurance, just so we can start getting more hits in with weapons and. Um, I think skill. There we go. And then we're not far off getting another level up, which is good. Farewell, good hunter. May you find. Uh, right. So now, oh no, the unseen. We want the frontier stone because we're going to Hemwick Channel Lane, uh, which is a great location to go to. Um, generally, one of my favourite areas of the game, and <laughs> I think that's um, an unpopular opinion, uh, but I really like it. It's a really nice, self-contained area. Um, it's like not too difficult, you get quite a lot of echoes from going through it. Really easy boss at the end. Um, lets you unlock the rune tool, which then lets you give more boss. Yeah, Henry Channel Lane is pretty great. Hopefully then we can two-shot all these enemies. Now giving about 300 a pop, which is pretty good. And like that, honestly... Not much more difficult than normal townsfolk. And also, we start getting twin bloodstone shards, which is good, so we can upgrade the uh, saw cleaver a bit more. So overall, 
just a great place to come, really. She's going to come down here with a dog. Got another one up there throwing molotovs. There's a big lad up here, so that's where we're gonna get we're gonna get the rifle spear out for this. <laughs> so nice we lunge right into the Molotov. Back off. Stab him again. Again, charge right into the Molotov. There's some loot there. Some more bloodstone shards, which is great. Nothing down. Nope. So head up here. Right, so the aim is we're going to open up this gate. And then this becomes like a pretty good area to come and grind to get some experience. Oop. crows. Uh, so there's a big crowd of them there. Um, something that's kind of funny is one of these crows, I think due to a bug, is programmed not to be hostile. Uh, so it is known within the community as the friendly crow. So, gonna murder them all. Oh god. Very stressful dealing with those crows. this lift. And you know what we'll do? We'll pop back and we'll level up. We'll go and level up before we go and do the, um, the farmhouse. just because I'm walking around with a lot of echoes and it makes me nervous. skill I think because we want to do as much damage. We don't need to increase health and stamina if you're killing things quicker. So good we can now button this up to plus five. Okay. Uh, we've got some better gems. Oh yeah there we go.
Oh, and obviously these have all respawned, which means we get get some more echoes. Oh, that was embarrassing. He died. Did <laughs> he die to that? Big lad up there. Get the spear out. See if we can do the usual thing now of charge, back off. Let him do that. Bam. Oh, there we go. I knew there were dogs in here. Right, double back. Across these beams. There's an old guy here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, old man. Get another blood stain, that's good. And some more madman's knowledge. Always good to have some madman's knowledge. But we don't pop those until we absolutely need them. This little crawly guy around here, I think. Have I missed him? Nah. No. Right, now we come onto the roofs. That's where we're going to go at some point. Castle Canehurst. Need to do a bit of finagling though. There's the next boss location. Yeah, the Witch of Hemwick. There's always one with Molotovs. Alright. Quickly go here, jump back. Alright, so there's a couple of executions down there with the big lads with the axes, and they give out a ton of echoes. This is why Hemic Chan Lane is really good as a like kind of early game grinding spot so what we're going to do open up this gate now a 
wonder if we can kill off one of these guys. Oh, if I get on the other side. Sort of trick him a bit. Oh, God. They, they give 2,000, but we're going to hit a point where we get the rune tool and then we can equip some runes that gain us more echoes. I think we've picked up a moon rune. We went to Yargul, the, um, the jail. And we get the rune tool. Oh dear, that wasn't very good. Really messing this up. There we go. Jesus. Made an absolute hash of that. Right. Can we take on the other executioner? Because they're doing 2000, which is like a really nice amount. Oh god. Oh god. Really messed that up again. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Making an absolute hash of this. Okay. <laughs> right, there's a bunch of dogs down this way. So we can lure them off one at a time. So do not want to try and fight them all. I said I didn't want to fight them all. <laughs> oh, that was very stressful. Don't do not do that. <laughs> do it better than what I just did there. Because that was absolutely... Absolute shambles. Hey, twin bloodstone shards, though. I don't want to edge out over like this massive instant death drop so I think we're just gonna oh, am I gonna get greedy and go and try and kill this other executioner that's just around the corner I think I am Oh god. Oh, it's all very stressful. <laughs> okay, okay. in here. I think there's a little scuttly dude. But we'll like hunt for him. Weirdly, don't think he drops down. There he is. Right, X 
excellent. So, boss is down there. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to reawaken. We're going to spin these echoes. And we're going to go into the boss as leveled up as possible. There is a trick with the um, with the witch. Uh, basically, if you go in and you have any amount of insight, she um, spawns a bunch, of, a bunch of like kind of demons that walk around. If you go in with no insight, then that doesn't happen. But I don't really want to spend all my insight. <laughs> There's nothing I really want to buy just yet. Uh, let's see. I would like to get two levels here. No, okay, and get one. Uh, so if I pop my all these, Welcome with you. Very well. I think we want a bit more health. And yeah, I think we want to get endurance up to at least like fifteen. So let's do that. Uh, did I have enough twin bloodstone shards to upgrade the saw cleaver as well? No, two off, that's annoying. Oh, I got extra. I <laughs> keep running back to this. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. That'll do. Excellent. Oh, that's what I want. Thrust attack. Excellent. There we go. Good. All gemmed up. Uh, is there anything we want to buy from these messengers here? Might as well. Um, let's just buy some fire paper. Why not? God, it really is. Every time I sit down to do this, Sunny's just like, even if I've been to the toilet already, it'd just be like, oh, no, no, I need to wee again. Every time.
so you can get five hits in. That's okay. Right, we're not going to mess around with the executioners. We're just going to run past them. So the whole thing with the witch is, firstly there's two of them, and secondly they're invisible and they keep teleporting around the room, which is a pain, so you just basically have to keep doing like a circuit each time to try and find them. That is a decent amount of damage I'm doing there, that's okay. Yeah, so the demons, the mad ones just kind of, they don't run after you, which is great. The other secret about the witches is that there's actually two of them. Oh, I have to deal with this one, aren't I? So kind of what you, and like one will resurrect the other one. So what you want to do? All right. I was gonna say what you want to do is trying to like not kill them, but <laughs> not kill one and then the other. Oh no, that's not great. Oh no, I'm going to die to the witches of Hemwick. And it's being recorded. This is dreadful. There we go. And then they will die. Fantastic. Oh man, I thought I was actually generally going to die to the Witches of Hemwick there, which would have been incredibly embarrassing. And then we go down here. Get the Rune Workshop tool. Amazing. So now we can equip runes, which makes life a little bit easier. So back and level up. Uh, this route now, this lantern, is now perfect because this is a great place to spawn. We go basically back through Hemwick Channel Lane to the other lantern, like the, at the start of Hemwick Channel Lane, and that is like a really good route for um, gaining echoes. So I'll probably do quite a bit of that off camera. Um, I think, I think we're just going to keep putting into endurance for now. Farewell. Uh, right, so what have we got? So we definitely want moon. 
Uh, commune lets us have more, and Formus Odin lets us have more Quicksilver bullets. So there we go, that's all good. And then this one is for like if you swear a particular oath to a certain character, so like um, the League or um, Eileen. Oh yeah, those three are fine for now. So we can hold, hold more vials, hold more bullets, and get more echoes. Basically, it's you know, perfect, absolutely perfect selection of stuff. Right, so we need two bloodstone shards to level up the weapon again. I uh, can't buy him just yet. Uh, let's maybe just give an example of how this route's going to look now. So how much do I need to level up? Uh, so we need 12,000. So we go Witch's Abode. This execution comes running up the hill. So he's now giving 2,500 because of our moon rune. Then we've got two other executions down here. So that's another like 5,000. needs to stop dodging back because it doesn't put me out of range of the overhead chop. Yeah, and there we go, and then back to the mountain. So that is a pretty good little route, and that gave us what about when I start for three thousand. That gave about fourteen, fourteen thousand, and obviously there's like the dogs as well that I could try doing. So yeah, that's a that's a pretty good little route early game, and yeah, that didn't take long to go through at all. So I will probably do some of that off camera just to uh, really grind up. I think. Let's just get endurance up to 15, there we go. And then 
yeah, and then up to level 50 we can go up to 20 vitality and 25 skill, and that's pretty, pretty good, I think. Um, I wonder if we can get a level up here. Oh, that was 6,000. That was a lot more than I thought I was going to do. I reckon this is going to be just off, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. See if we can sell something. Um, I'm never going to use this. Let's sell that. And we can sell one of these hunter garbs. Well got it. Very well met. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking wood. Okay, so that is something we can do off camera, do a bunch of grinding. Uh, what we can also do is, if we go to Cathedral Ward, is we can, instead of going left at the Cathedral, we can go right and do a little bit of exploring there. So I think there's some stuff we can get. Oh, Eileen's there, cool. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad, and he's my mark. Don't go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. I have business there first. We're absolutely going to go and do that, though. Because that continues Eileen's quest chain. Um, although we do have to fight Henrik, who is a bit of a beast. It's very strong, but we can hold off until Eileen shows up and helps us out. Got complete turned around there. Right, so we head up here. up on him, get a backstab, that'll be all right. Oh, he's got so much health. Right, and then we're just going to run away and wait for Eileen to show up. Right, so Eileen has shown up, so now we can go help her out. Thanks. 
We made it with our lives. You weren't bad at all. You must have killed Gascoigne as well then. He was falling apart, I'm sure it had to be done. But try to keep your hands clean. A hunter should hunt beasts. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. <laughs> try to keep your hands clean. Leave the hunting of hunters. So it's nice that progresses her quest chain. Uh, there is a chance that she dies there, or you can obviously attack her herself, uh, because her gear is really good. Uh, she has like um, a uh, like a pair of daggers, which are just a really good like skill based weapon. Uh, they just do a ton of damage, and they're very quick, um, and they're also very expensive to buy. Um, and like her armor is really good. Her crow feather garb. But it's worth doing her quest chain because uh, the rune she gives is really good. It's a uh, uh, increases how quickly your stamina recovers, which is obviously pretty useful. Ah, so I have enough insight now. Can see, can see that uh, these guys' lanterns, which were originally normal, probably can't see it now, but are now started to uh, be covered with eyes because the more insight you get, the more you see the world as it truly is. So uh, eventually, when you get <laughs> a bunch of insight, you start seeing um, well, as the enemy's appearance change it, like, and. Uh, your resistance to going mad gets reduced. So that's why it's actually not a great, great idea. So like these guys with the lanterns now have the ability where they can just um, shoot magic at me, whereas they previously didn't have that. But now my insight is high enough. Oh, we know what the what the truth is now, and the truth is. They've got little magic lanterns that shoot magic at me, which I'm not on board with. So these guys here can inflict frenzy, which is the thing that makes you go mad. And the higher your insight, the quicker your frenzy goes up. Yep, so that frenzy's building, and basically when your frenzy reaches maximum, uh, you just lose about 90% of your health, you just explode. It is, it is not a good time. Alright, so we're going to explore this way because I think there's a pair of hunters who are hiding out who we can deal with. Might be able, might be strong enough to be able to take them on. Let's see. I think it's like on both of them there's the opportunity for a backstab. Excellent, that's one down. Let me take on the other one. So let me just sneak up on him. Damn it. Right, he's got a Tony. Oh, which does a lot. But 
Rifle Spear. Rifle Spear beats Tonitrus. Gives us some bolt paper, which is nice. So I think there's a Snatcher up there. But there's also something you think pretty good. Oh, you know what? We're just not dealing with this guy. <laughs> if we can lure him. And then maybe run past him. Oh, things like could risk taking on the rifle spear, but they do so much damage. So we will need to eventually go this way at some point, but I just kind of want to go and get those those two hunts. There is something good up there, and I cannot remember what it is. So it must be really good. Uh, I think that's just. Pop a bolt on smart and reawaken. And level up again. Welcome, what is it? Very well, net. There we go. Let's level up skill. Right, uh, let's try going to the jail. See if we can get some blood twin twin shards there. I'd really like to get the um, saw cleaver up to the thing. It's what, plus five at the moment, isn't it? So we can get it up to plus six, and that'd be really nice. It might involve having to fight some pigs, but we've done that before, so it is possible. Pigs give a bunch of echoes, so definitely worth doing, I think. Alright, so he's going to run up now. Excellent! Alright, that was... Fairly easy. Let's see if we can get the other one to come out as well. That's pretty good. Six hits take down a pig. That's pretty good. Some bulk paper. Right, there's a bunch of dogs here. I remember these dogs actually give quite a lot of experience. Yeah, 600, 650 uh, a pop, so that's pretty good. So we've got two dogs and a snatcher there guarding the Tonatrus. So we'll lure the dogs.
quickly run past him. Get the Tomtris, which we're probably not going to use, but we might always sell it at some point. Oh god, they're so... You know what? Let's try this. Alright. Then you give 1500. There we go, twin bloodstone shards. Amazing. Alright, so that was actually kind of worth it. Oh, we've got to level up as well. This is really worth it. <laughs> uh, there's dogs down there as well. Let's try. Let's go and get them. I <laughs> don't like this setup. Uh, you know, we've actually got... If I need to farm Snatch of a Bloodstone Shard, there's literally one right outside the Cathedral Ward Lantern. So we might just go and do that instead. So I think we only needed like one or two shards. Let's see, why not pop the Tonitrus into storage. Pop the flames for it, so I'm not going to use that. Yeah, I need one more. That's alright, isn't it? Cathedral Ward. So I think there's two snatches nearby because there's one just literally just outside um, and there's one near the old chapel where you get into Old Yarnum. So if we can get a Twin Bloodstone Shard, upgrade the Saw Cleaver, we'll be in a really good position to um, go and take on Amelia who is the next boss. We could also try taking on Dark Beast Pal who is uh, an optional boss. Oh, I'm just going to take the pebbles out of the quick... Actually, I might take the enter out. We'll do that later. There we go, Twin Bloodstone Shards, amazing. Ok, 
go and upgrade the uh, go and upgrade the saw cleaver. Good stuff. Right, need bloodstone chunks next. We should don't get those until mm, quite a while until we get bloodstone chunks. I think the first chance you get them. I think we can buy Henrik's gear now, which is, I think, pretty good. Gives an excuse to buy, spend some of this insight, I suppose. Yeah, sure. <laughs> there were some blue numbers on there, sure. We go. Looking pretty, pretty dapper now. Um, it's all an awkward point now, aren't I? Um, I do okay, so I'll this. Okay. Welcome, I'd like to get one more level up. So I need six thousand. That's easy because that is not even a full Hemic Channel Lane run through. So let's just go and do that. Let's just top up and hit level 50. Oh my god, oh my god! This went really wrong! <laughs> oh, now the execution out there. Oh, my absolute arrogance there. <laughs> be like, oh, it's be easy now, I've got an upgraded sword cleaver. Got absolutely taken apart. up to 20 health. Alright, cool. Uh, you know, just for giggles, let's see if we can if we can take on Dark Beast Pile. Probably not. Might be a little bit beyond us at the moment, but we'll give it a go. Well, I've got a, got a plus six saw cleaver. You know, level 50, but it should be okay.
run past the snatches. Oh, let's summon some help. Might need it against Darby's pal at this at level 50. Alright. Let's see if we... I, I don't think we can. But we'll give it a go. Going all right so far. All right, he re recharges. It's just one of these bosses where, like, no, <laughs> that was well, that was me being dumb. I kind of jumped into it. But yeah, I don't think we're ready for Pal yet. I think it's like the only other real time you come back to. I'm going to be like 40 levels higher, and it's going to be zero challenge. But yeah, you know, we had better give it a go. See if see if what it was if it was doable. Uh, it was not. Oh well, let's uh, let's take on these take on these guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well. Well, <laughs> seemed unnecessary. You know what? <laughs> this one guy. You know what? I'm going to come back to life. We're going. We're going to do it again. This right. This is personal now against this one. All right. Okay. Okay. There, buddy. Harder, right, uh, this next time, this time, this time, this time, this time we got it, this time. All right, okay, you think you're so tough. The mistake was not using the, oh my God. <laughs> There we go. Vengeance. Yeah, what we're going to take up, we're going to get the other one as well. You saw what I did to your friend. Oh god, he saw. He saw what I did. Right, there's one. There's two. There's three. No. <laughs> there we go. 
There we go. <laughs> Justice has been done. I only took a few I only took a few tries, but we got those two snatches. It wasn't even worth it. Three thousand echoes. Could have just gone to Hemwick Channel Lane and killed one executioner and it would have been fine. But man, they are oof, they are rough to fight. Right, so I think that's gonna be it for today. Um I think maybe in the next next time I might do a little bit of grinding off screen get like a few more levels because I just like getting levels do that Hemwick Channel Lane run a few times uh, and then I think I'll take on old Vicar Amelia and uh, continue with the game so bye